Hey you guys, and welcome to today's video. So, today I wanted to share with you what my fall trend predictions are going to be. Um, I kind of just made like a list. It's like somewhat organized. Um, I don't know, we'll see. We'll see how many times I have to refilm this because I hate how it's organized. But I kind of compromised this from things that I personally think are going to come back. Things that I've seen on Pinterest and like just how I think like the summer trends are gonna kind of roll into fall. I've seen, like, I watched a few other, like, fall trend prediction videos, and I kind of got some, some ideas from there as well. I don't know, this is kind of a little bit everywhere, but I don't know, let's get into it. So, I'm gonna start off with, like, the looks, like, aesthetics, and, like, colors that I think are, we're really gonna see this fall. One of them is olive green. I'm gonna start off with olive green. First of all, like, earthy tones have always been, like, a fall thing, but I really think that olive green is gonna, like, hit this year. Like, I mean, I've seen a lot, we've seen a lot of greens in general, like fall like the sage green like you can see kind of in my sheets here um, and on the posters and I think that's slowly coming like darker like I think it's kind of turning into olive green now and I think that we're mostly gonna see it with cargo cargo everything cargo pants cargo bomber jackets like that kind of thing and yeah I do think that we're gonna be seeing olive green cargo jackets not like the ones in 2015-2016 those but better <laughs> because personally I will never ever let that come back um also I should say that I don't think like none of these predictions are necessarily things that I want to come back in style or will wear these are just what I think we'll be seeing. And I also think that beige is like really com gonna come back like once again with those earthy tones. I feel like we've been hating on beige a lot. Like it with millennials, they had very like basic simplistic kind of styles with neutrals, but the neutrals weren't earthy. They were gray and white and black. And I think that now like after we've gone so long without like any color I think we're kind of regressing back to like that 70s beige like I really think that like beige slacks trench coats and stuff like that like we'll definitely be seeing a lot more of this fall and just like a lot of like really light brown tones like beige but yeah I think it'll be very 70s like any like all the beige that comes will be very 70s inspired um I also think that as we've hit Y2K, and I still love Y2K, obviously, like, it's been, like, what, six months since Y2K's been in style? is still going strong, but I do think we're also starting to get into the 2010s, and thank God Chevron is not here, and hopefully it never will be, but I do think, like, the nerdy girl kind of look in the 2010s is coming back, like, Bella Swan. I've seen a lot of people really like what she was wearing, and same with Rory Gilmore. Very much, like, long shirts with graphics, or just plain with like a low rise flare jean dark wash specifically jean jackets which i mean jean jackets are always in style but just like you know what I, like the look i'm talking about right yeah as well as like combat boots and uggs although uggs are always in style every single fall but yeah just kind of like that kind of edgy kind of nerdy look from 2010s i don't think like the the it girl look um will be coming back hopefully not but i don't know we'll see i'm not gonna put it past us but yeah also i really think that like the ballet core look is going to make it like a it's gonna be a little bit bigger in the fall and here's why i think so i think that leg warmers are gonna come back in the style we kind of saw the beginning of them last fall and winter so i think that they're like gonna come back a little bit more this year especially since ballet flats are also kind of in style now and I don't like ballet flats personally like just like wearing them like I own some but I don't like wearing them they're very uncomfortable to me but I do think that they can be styled really cutely and I think one of those ways is with ballet core like having leg warmers and ballet flats together I think that's such a look and I think we're gonna see that in like normal looks also I just think that ballet core just seems very folly because it seems like a, a beginning like a back to school kind of look if that makes sense also cardigans but I just think that like the colors and like specific pieces are very folly so I think that that'll translate into ballet core being a little bit more popular so these next two things are very conflicting hear me out baggy on baggy clothes I think that with like cargo pants and parachute pants currently being in style I think that we're gonna see a lot of baggy on baggy like big t-shirts with like parachute pants or cargo pants and really loose fitting pants in general because for some reason every single season pants seem to get looser and looser so I think that we're 
gonna start seeing more baggy on baggy a lot more boyish kind of styles um especially like baggy hoodies with baggy pants but just like a lot more than we usually see it every single fall and winter so and then the next thing which kind of contradicts what i just said i really think we're gonna see hyper feminine menswear and what i mean by this is one good like answer to this that just like makes sense is that one new mu skirt the one that looks like men's slats cut into a mini skirt that is exactly the type of like vibe that i mean when i say hyper feminine menswear i think it's menswear that's going to be turned into something very feminine very like slutty kind of like ties ties are coming back and i'm not hating it so i think like that with like slacks also blazers are coming back into style i just think like cropped blazers too um, I think we're gonna see so much more of that this fall, and I kind of live for it, kind of love it. But yeah, basically just like your everyday like men's like 9 to 5 uniform, but like cut into a million pieces to make it cute and fun. I also think that's like a big thing that we're gonna be seeing on the runway, like most of this stuff is kind of more just like streetwear things that you're actually going to be wearing. Um, but I do think that the hyper feminine menswear will be seen more on runways. Um, also, I think that we're going to start seeing a lot more, like, preppy comes and goes in the fall. Like, because it's back to school, so we start to see that preppy style. Last year, we saw it a lot where basically people were wearing, like, Catholic school uniforms as, like, a style. Which kind of makes me mad because I went to a Catholic school and wore a uniform when it wasn't in style. But anyways... Um, I think that this year preppy is going to come back um, a lot more, like, more of an equestrian kind of vibe. Like, I think last year was more definitely a schoolgirl, very tennis, country club, and now I think we're going, like, equestrian country club. Like, with the olive green and beige coming into style, I really, like, that is what you wear as an equestrian. But, like, I really think that breeches are gonna be kind of cute. I mean, we're always seeing knee-high boots. That's a very, obviously, equestrian thing. Also, so much leather that it just makes sense, you know? Like, I think with that, we're going to see that country club girl again, but a little bit different. Okay, so now let's move on to the specific, like, clothing pieces that I think. I tried to organize this by, like, category. So, or starting with shoes. So, first of all, knee-high boots are always in style. But here's, like, the the specific knee-high boots I'm talking about, like, they're going to be a little, like, they're very plain. Like, they are just basic black knee-high boots. There's not going to be anything. Like, I mean, in the 2010s, the knee-high boots then are different than the knee-high boots now. And that's because, like, the 2010s had a little bit more buckles. They were a little bit, like, scrunched almost, I want to say. They had, like, a little high to low thing going on, like, kind of like that equestrian style. I think now they're just going to be plain straight up i don't think that they're gonna hug your thigh or anything they're gonna be like just a little bit bigger um i also think that we're gonna see them in more of a patented leather i'm sorry i butchered that word patented patent and patent leather and less of a soft leather um moving on to also with knee-high boots i think we're gonna see cowboy boots but that's kind of obvious cowboy boots have been kind of coming into style for the summer but i think it'll continue in the fall but i think it'll be like we've seen a lot of like really bright colored ones like sparkles glitters galore in cowboy boots i think they're just going to be regular cowboy boots for the fall um and paired in that kind of equestrian style way um i've already talked about ballet flats ballet flats are definitely coming back but there's a difference between the new ballet flats and the old ballet flats i think the ballet flats that are coming back are a little bit more of like a twee style and what i mean by that is i mean they're literally plain ballet flats with like that little like bow like kind of like the chanel ones almost but like there's nothing else to them but that like they are just plain the ones in like the 2010s were a little bit more like had a little bit more going on you know and we also saw the ones that were like scrunched up uh no we will not be seeing that hopefully i I think that the regular just plain black and beige ballet flats are gonna be what we're seeing um also possibly with like a teensy little heel kind of similar to the chanel ones again for heels though we're definitely gonna see pointy heels like i don't know what it is i've just seen so many people in love with pointy heels i personally not my thing i think it makes my feet look huge my feet aren't even that big but i don't really enjoy them but i think with like the cowboy boots coming back and stuff like that i think that really pointy heel is coming specifically paired with a low little kitten heel but yeah and then for the actual comfy things that you're gonna be wearing clogs we've seen it all summer the birkenstock clogs which i actually really like but i don't have 200 dollars to spend on them 
They're so cute though. I definitely think they're gonna be sticking around for the fall. Like they're such a fall type of shoe, especially cause they're in beige and olive green, like I said. And I think we're gonna see a little bit more clogs. Like I know Uggs kind of have like a clog style too, and I really like those, but I think we'll definitely be seeing a lot of things similar to those. Now for pants. I've already talked about all these, but let's just go back. So the low waist flare. Um, we've been seeing this for most of the summer, I want to say. At least I have seen it for most of the summer. I'm going to really enjoy low waist flare jeans. I've thrifted some of them for back to school. I'm so excited. And when I mean low waist, I mean actual low waist flare jeans from the early 2000s. And I think that these are going to be paired with graphic tees because graphic tees are just a fall thing. Um, long sleeves, just like plain long sleeve shirts that hit the, the waistband. And I think it'll be a perfect little simple outfit and I love that. Once again, parachute pants and cargo pants, they kind of fall under the same umbrella for me. But I definitely, these are cute. I like parachute pants. I'm not like the biggest fan, like I'm not going to go and buy some right now. I do, however, love cargo pants. And cargo pants and carpenter pants are kind of in style, like the Carhartt ones and like the Dickies. And I think it's just going to play into the very boyish style that we're going to be seeing, like that we see every single fall. But yeah, and once again... Parachute pants and cargo pants. What colors have we been seeing that in? Beige and olive green, so. As for skirts, I think, I don't think the mini skirt is necessarily out. I think it's out for the fall. Because like, come on, where can you wear a mini skirt in the fall? Maybe like LA, but like around here in Toronto, Canada, no mini skirts. I think we're gonna be seeing maxi skirts and a little mini skirts still, but a little bit less. I think if you're wearing a skirt, you're wearing a maxi skirt. And I think we're gonna see jean midi and maxi skirts a lot more i personally really like this trend i think they're so cute and i want one but i think it's just because like they're a little bit warmer and they look maxi and, and midi skirts look so cute with boots and like the fall is all about boots so i think that's why they're going to be coming back a little bit also just because once again baggy on baggy long skirts kind of give that baggy look and i think people really like that um also i think we're going to be seeing them in more of like a knit and linen instead of silk, which we've been wearing all summer. As for tops, long tops, like I said, that hit low rise jeans, I think cropped is, it's done. Okay, crop, I love a good crop top. Don't get me wrong, but we're entering the fall now. It's getting cooler. Crop tops sometimes just aren't it. I'm so over cropped hoodies and sweaters and long sleeve. I just want a long top and I think a lot of people feel the same. <laughs> I definitely think long tops are gonna be a thing again, hopefully. But like specifically the one, like ones that hit perfectly at the waistband of your jeans. And then also just Letterman and sports jackets. I've seen a lot of these kind of a little bit over the summer, but not, but like as we're heading fall, I think they're gonna get more popular because you know, jackets. But like the bomber, like Letterman jackets, and like car racing, ja like NASCAR jackets and stuff like that. I think those are going to make a really good comeback. Once again, because of that baggy on baggy, more like a boyish style. We're seeing carpenter pants and cargo pants. It just kind of matches the look. Also, I feel like, gra like graphics are obviously always in style, but I think that they're really hitting right now. And it's like the perfect kind of graphic, having like a Letterman jacket. And it also like helps with a little bit of a pop of color. Also, more oversized knitwear. We saw this last fall with that one Aritzia, with a Rory Gilmore sweater specifically. Um, I think that's gonna continue. I think that the tight knit wear, I think it's over. I don't really like it personally. I think the big chunky cable knit that's super oversized, I think that will be the style um, specific, like that one Aritzia one, which is the cutest. You, If you guys want a good cable knit sweater, get that one because it is the best. Like I, it's so expensive, but it's so worth it. Believe me, it is. Yeah, I think that super tight, um, kind of vest like the polo ones that are tight I think those are gonna kind of not be like out of style obviously but seen less and I think that the more oversized super chunky is gonna be seen more once again baggy on baggy um but yeah and then also vests but not sweater vests I mean sweater vests will be in style but I don't think it's like the main vest style I think that button up vest like the jean vest leather vest and stuff like that that's gonna be super in style sweater vests are obviously still cute but i just think that like the jean and leather vests really help with layering especially with all these places with actual cold weather and i find them super cute personally so now as for accessories once again leg warmers 
I think these are so cute. I'll, like, obviously, it's not, like, full 80s leg warmers. Like, they're gonna be, like, mostly black and gray and, like, maybe some pink, light pink. But these are actually awesome. Like, these need to come back into style because they are so warm. Like, they keep my legs warm and it means that I can wear, like, tights and stuff in the winter without being cold. And I kind of love that. I love that, like, things that are actually keeping us warm are going to be in style, hopefully hopefully anyways because I'm so tired of like LA just like running it and me being just cold all the time to just being cold to look cute like no let's actually wear warm things please um also baggy socks I saw someone talk about this and it just made so much sense so like we obviously are wearing socks with our boots and socks with our loafers now I think it's gonna be like specifically a very baggy sock you know we've been wearing like long socks obviously but they've kind of been a little bit tighter or just like a little bit baggy just like a little bit scrunched but I think really baggy socks are gonna kind of come in and I don't know that just it just makes sense I don't really have much of an explanation but it just does um also messenger bags once again weird girl nerdy girl Rory Gilmore yeah personally I hate backpacks they make my back hurt so much and messenger bags are just kind of like a little bit more elevated it makes like it feels it feels very college it feels very university I don't know it just it feel it makes you feel a little bit older and a little bit more serious I guess but and they just like pair with outfits very well like backpacks are very practical they kind of ruin a fit a lot of the time so I think messenger bags are a good compliment same with like once again crossbody bags um, we've been seeing the little mini shoulder bags and they're still cute obviously but I think we're gonna be seeing a lot more crossbody bags like satchels kind of a lot of more leather bags like leather looking bags if that makes sense and just like m like an old money kind of feel those are all of my predictions this is a very long video but yeah I'm so excited for fall I'm so excited to wear all of the most of not all of them I'm so excited to wear most of these things actually I'm so excited for fall fashion this year. I feel like it's gonna really pop off. But yeah, I hope you guys really like this video. And if you wanna see more things like this, I'm kinda doing a little bit more like actual fashion videos, I guess. Hit subscribe, like this video. Tell me what you think is going to come in style this fall because I love hearing everyone's opinions. But thank you guys so much for watching this video and I'll see you guys next time.